record with the rear facing because of the flash um i just wanted to do this video to tell you what i do when i am in such a bad flare or pain how i spend my day so currently as you can see i'm in my bed debating if I want to take a pain pill I've literally only had maybe one to two hours of sleep um, and that's not been consistent I've tossed and turned all night to the point I don't know anymore my back is unbearable the pain in my legs and I got out yesterday um, to pick up a couple of things um, from some stores I did a video on it and I should have just stayed at home because when I tell you like I had to get up just to give um, Easter her medicine because she has to have them at a certain time each morning my husband has like two games to call so he should be back by one I think I wanted to go to see my niece and nephew but I just can't right now like I feel like I have a thousand pounds like on my back right now and I'm trying to like stay upright when I walk and it feels like I'm about to break in half I don't know at this point what I need to do my oxygen you know keeps dropping up and down I'm supposed to start the vancomycin um, antibiotics on Monday and the doctor's office scheduled it for me and they made it for 8 o'clock in the morning and normally like I always make my appointments for like 10 because my joints just don't move very good that early in the morning and plus I normally don't get that good of a night's sleep anyway but it is what it is I just have to suck it up and do it I'm not looking forward to doing this every day um i know i see patients that get antibiotics and then they send them home with like a fanny pack or something with antibiotics so i don't know if this is going to be like a every 12 hour antibiotics i know it's daily i know they're there on saturdays i don't know how they work their sundays um i, I don't know so this will be interesting to see. And I asked, did they pre-medicate? Because I don't really know the side effects. I just don't want to have any. Um, and what I'll probably do is just take some Benadryl beforehand. I don't know. I'm going to research. And my husband will just have to drive me on Monday. Because um, I don't know how I want to feel. I don't, you know. So, this is the part one of what I do when I can't do anything else. Hey guys, um, I'm still in the bed. Uh, when I did the first part, excuse me, it was probably about 9.30, it is now after two, and I've literally only been able to get up one time. I only had cereal before I laid down. My husband just got home because I called him I was like I can't get up to 
you know, get Easter something else to eat since breakfast. So, this is what I've literally been doing. I slept up until about 1 o'clock. And I'm going to try to get up and get something to eat. I haven't taken any pain medicine. I probably will have to, but I'm still tired. Like, I'm, like, excuse me. I could fall right back to sleep. So I just wanted to come back. And if I do anything different, I will add it to this video to show you what I do when I'm like this. And I haven't been, I don't feel you know, you have pains and you hurt. But as far as just like being in bed for this many hours and not even getting up to, you know, eat and go to the bathroom. Like it's been horrible. I'm just so frustrated. So I'm gonna try to maybe I might just make a peanut butter and jelly. Something simple. My husband grilled chicken last night. I don't know. I'm sorry if I even have the strength to even, you know, stand up to get that warmed and plate fixed. I might do that at dinner. Um, and I don't want to bother him. So that's where I'm at. But my back is hurting so bad and it's locking up. It hurts to walk. So sometimes you just have to listen to your body. And if you just keep running and running and trying to do, trust me, God will sit you down in a heartbeat. So I really need to just quit being angry and frustrated and just do what I got to do until I can get back to being on my meds again and getting all this stuff straightened out. So, I'll probably, since he's home, after he gets to eat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, we'll probably just binge watch some of our favorite shows. I'm gonna do a video, I keep saying that. Um, but we're like a year behind on so much stuff. So we'll probably binge watch some things, probably one show. So I don't know if I can make it through anything else or watch a movie so I'll be back okay guys so when I'm in so much pain in a flare obviously I go to sleep and try to get as much rest as I possibly can Next, I like to light a candle. This one is lavender and chamomile. So I'll put that on for, you know, a few minutes. Um, and I use my heat pad. Um, my husband brought this for me, I don't know, a couple years ago. But it still works, so I use it. And I just like to sit on it for about 20 minutes. We have a sleep number bed, so sometimes you have to make adjustments in the firmness or softness. So right now I'm at 80, but I'm going to go down to about 55 um, to see if that gives me relief. And right now I think I'll just keep it on 80 because I kind of need something pretty firm um, at this moment. I really don't like the bed, but... Hey, we're stuck with it for now, so sometimes it's good and most of the time not. So, that is what I do when it comes to comfort in the bed. Alright, when it comes to binge watching, normally I'm just watching youtube if i'm not sleeping um the show that me and my husband binge watch is ray donovan we super super love this show we found snowfall 
Um, that's a new series, so we just watched season one. We watched Queen Sugar, which we are still trying to finish season two. And of course, loving you. If loving you is wrong, Tyler Perry. I think it's a new season out, so I gotta watch that. Um, this is us. We really, really love that. We're trying to catch up on season two. And the Have and Have Nots, I did watch last season, so I don't think it comes back on until next year. Hey guys, taking my night meds and on most of them. <sighs> the pain is like on a 10. I, um, after I ate lunch, I pretty much um just laid in the bed and then I tried to um I got out to fix me something to eat and I literally was like in so much pain it hurts so bad to stand but I managed to wash dishes and put them in the dishwasher which I know I shouldn't <sighs> but when you know you can't stay in your house to look a certain way so I did the dishes and I probably shouldn't have, but if you're already hurting, hey, what's one more point on the pain scale? So this is how I deal with flares and days that I am in pain. So I hope you enjoy my ideas and tips and don't know when this is going to go out. It'll probably go out Wednesday or something or Tuesday. I don't know because I have a different video that's going to come out on Monday on insurance. If I don't move it. We'll see. So just be on the lookout. I did do an insurance 101 video the other day. <sighs> Your girl. I mean, I got up. I got a shower. And I was so out of breath. Um, so that's where I'm at for right now. So until the next time, guys, be blessed. And I'm praying that I can go to church tomorrow. I haven't been un since um, my surgery. So because our church, it starts at, you have to be there at 9.30. And like I said earlier, it's hard for me to get up and get moving depending on the night I had. But I really want to go to church. So I'm going to try to get in bed and hopefully I can fall asleep before 1 o'clock. Alright guys. This moon face. I'm not even on the prednisone anymore. And I, oh Jesus. Take the wheel. Bye guys.